Yeah. So I'll I'll ping back to me with with one point. Every single client who's been successful, bar a handful of them, mm -hmm. has followed a structure when it comes to their meals. Now this this is a hard one to communicate because the guys who haven't done it and seen tremendous success is where everyone wants to be. They've just been in a fortunate position where they can skip that stage. Very fortunate. I very very fortunate. Very. Right? I don't know how to do it. So it's just, the, and I think back to it, it's, but they've got a little bit of exposure to it and they've just that strong a why that they can chop and change the meals on a regular basis play them. and hit a, re a reasonable calorie amount, aye, right? Aye. Everyone else, we sat down. I've got a client coming in this week and this is what I said to him because I, I kind of gave him the free reign to do what he wanted to do. And uh, that worked very well at the start of the year. The darker nights are coming in. He's like, man, Matt, I just keep picking shit things for me. Yeah. And then I don't track it. And then I'm all over the place. And I'm like, right, let's go back to a structure then. Because as much as you want to be there, we're not quite there yet. So having a structure when it comes to your meals is for the majority of the time, you're eating the same meals week in, week out. Mm -hmm. And that can change. And I used to do, I think we spoke about this before, doing a couple of options that you can swap in and swap out. That's what I'm doing. And, um, and then uh, bits of fruit and adding up the snacks. Now, when I say meal plan, this isn't your standard fucking shitty coach meal plan that you'll no. see from that. No. Like I'm sitting down with my clients and going, right, tell me the foods that you enjoy. Build three meals for me. We sit down, right, okay. You can see protein count. We want it to be here. We want your fiber count to be here. Yeah. Fats and carbs will change person in person. But it's like, right, cool. Let's chop and change. Let's add an extra egg. Take a wee bit of fucking whatever it is away. And then we have a structure that they can follow. Yeah. And it's like, right, cool. That's your go-to. And it's not that these clients have followed that to the T. Clients have went, well, it was Friday night and they've ate out and then maybe had a meal out for lunch on the but Sunday. most of the time. But see, having that structure there, see the mentality, just going, right, okay, cool. I know what I'm buying no in the thinking. shops. I know what I'm getting. I know what meals I'm having. I'm prepped. Yeah. That just makes it so much easier for that so, journey. I, so I, I, had a, I had a phone call with a client yesterday, come, just come back to this. I was like, look, your eating is not habitual. You've never had an eating structure in your life. All I want you to do is, here's your calories, here's your protein. I want three meals. I want two options each, and I want them all to add up to that by the end of the day. I was like, you make it up. Send me it back over. Send me over last night. I'll check it as soon as we're done here. And that's what I got somebody else to do. I was like, that's all I want you to do. I was like, you're not hitting your calories and protein because you're thinking about it every single day. Yeah. And this is, <clears throat> this is one that you understand when we're saying this. You're not doing this forever. But if you do this, there's an element of sacrifice that you need to make to, to make pivotal changes ah, in your aye. health and fitness and this is one of them because then you start understanding the feeling that you get from eating whole foods all mm -hmm. the time the shittiness that comes with eating off like see that weekend there i i don't know why as the coach in my circle that we all bring sweets crisp chocolate but i fucking love it right so what did i eat all I weekend that, no, I, I hate it i hate the feeling with it and i'm like but the taste that I forget how engineered it is, man. Whoa. Honestly, it just makes you want to eat. Do you know what I got constantly. when I was away on holiday? See the wee watermelon slices? With mm, the sugar coated sweeties. Sugar coated watermelon slices. Oh no, so that's I can that's the only sweets I don't like because the sugars is sweeties. I, I'm a chocolate and crisps guy over sweets. No way. I swear to God. See the sugar coated sweeties? Disgusting. I can't the two the yeah, the sour sweets. Can I do it, mate? Just keep talking. <laughs> you will let me do. So, um, but then you recognise and you expose yourself to these feelings of actually, it's like the drink. I, I don't want to keep having the foods if it makes me feel this way, mm. no matter how enjoyable Aye. it is. It's like a toxic relationship. <clears throat> it is. It is, and it's it's part and parcel of life. Like you're not, oh, no, gonna, I, you're not going to be able to eliminate no this, can't he? and you're going to give into it. But if you have that structure, you'll get you'll get to see the. The benefits of... And the easiness of life as well. Oh, yeah. yeah like the mental your, clarity you get from no thinking about your food most all of this, day, Most of us have day. ADHD, and this helps you with your ADHD because Bring you're down, not man. going, what the fuck do I have? Aye. What a stress. Oh, <laughs> I hate that feeling. I don't think there's anything worse than waking up. And I, I don't actually think I've got any clients to do that, eat like that. But see, when you think about it, see if you... Eat like half a cuff. You get your socks inside. I know. I know it's that. <laughs> I know it's that when I sat in. This one, that one, I So, uh, I, even when you think about it, like, what happens when you don't have a structure for the lunch that you're having? What do you do? You eat out. You take a meal deal. You buy whatever it is. And it's, I'm not saying that you can't make good choices within that, but there's a majority of the chance when I look at the client's history, it's like, 
or they could have went to Tesco and got a chicken and bacon sandwich meal deal with baby bells and a bottle of water, but they end up going to Greg's and getting whatever, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the we give in to our, I don't know what would you say, your cravings? You give if you, in if you're cravings. eating intuitively, you're going to wait till you're hungry, mm. which is a problem. It's, it's one of the more advanced skills that you want to pick up yeah. in coaching and you get to that once you've went through a cycle of sticking to the structure, dropping a dinner meal first, Aye. then dropping the lunch meal and then you'll probably find it no matter, like even if you say eating intuitively, I'll all of it, I, I have the same first couple of meals because I enjoy them and I, I like that my body feels good after it and I'm ready to function. Aye. I don't feel this bloatedness Aye. and I'll leave a bit of room for dinners and weekends if me and Jillian want to go out for dinner or we want to do something so I'll not be dead regimented and stuck to it aye I would say like people go how can you eat that much food I go like the more you eat the more you move Mm. and then they go right cool and then if you go right so if you're going to eat more then you need to know what you're eating every single day and a meal structure will help you get there if you eat a meal structure for four weeks you go I just feel better do you know that way (laughs)